Well, I saw the movie Marshall yesterday. It's about the first African American man to become a Supreme Court justice. And it actually wasn't much about his life so much as about a one particular legal case that he participated in as a lawyer before he became Supreme Court Justice. So he was a young African-American lawyer, starting now working for the NAACP. And uh, and his involvement in this case, which happened to be in a different state, so he wasn't really, he had to have special permission to uh, to be a lawyer at, uh, take part in the in the in the case to defend this guy he was defending an african american man of of rape rape charges by a white woman and it actually reminded me a lot of uh, to kill a mockingbird if you, if you know that story not exact but not exactly but in some ways similar and uh comes at a time in our country when race relations are obviously another issue that race relations have come back up to the top of the, of the pool. But there's nothing, it's nothing like it was back then. It's just ridiculous to compare today's problems of racism to Way it was back when he was starting out as a lawyer. This is, I don't know the exact date, but after slavery, obviously, but before, you know, while the civil rights movement was kind of being hashed out. So, around the time of probably about segregation, desegregation at that point. You know, so it was still like white only. Drinking fountains and things like that. And using the N word was pretty common back then by white or black without much repercussion at all. And uh, so that's what this movie is about. Now, I didn't. Movie review, right? The first Christian and told people to pay the movie. And things like that. Try to fine tune prayer suggestions. But, uh, and so these are obvious ones. I mean, this is an obvious one. We, we pray for. Race relations today, not just white toward black, but also reverse, you know. Sometimes whites are discriminated against in this day and age, especially uh, especially now. I mean, especially here in Southern California, where whites are actually the minority, and the so-called minorities are the majority. So... So minorities here in Southern California actually have a pretty nice because they can be passive aggressive. They have the numbers on their side, so they can be aggressive. If any, if, if ever a situation arises between you know a person of color versus a white, but they can also act passive. If if they don't have the numbers on their side, they can always claim that they were being discriminated against by the white person, whether true or not. So, it's a situation that I am familiar with here. I'm not racist, but I've ran into racist situations where I've been discriminated. I'm white, if you can't tell, by my voice. I have that distinctive white voice. Anyways, um, 
But so we pray for race relations everywhere, but especially here where I am right now. I do because it's my situation. I try to deal with the problems, issues. And we can all get along, but it's only really possible to have true harmony between all the colors if we're in Christ. I mean, we can litigate, make laws about how people should treat each other outside the church. It's the only way to do it. But making laws can't change hearts. It just changes behavior. You really want to be changing hearts. That only comes through Christ. So let's pray for more people to convert to Christ. There wasn't much talk about religion in this movie. Or God or Christ. I mean, in fact, I don't think there was any at all. So Let's pray for that. Keep evangelizing, telling others the good news of Jesus Christ, our Savior. Never give up. Shining the light. And uh, righting the wrongs historically, but also making sure new, run, new ones don't arise in reverse or anything else. Hear my prayer, Lord, from the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.